So a lot of the questions we've been getting posed lately is, is this a seller's market? When is it returning back to normal? OMG, what's the hap? So the way you define a seller's market is when there's less than 90 days of inventory. So typically there's X amount of houses that sell per month and you want 90 days of that inventory on the market. And that is what's considered a balanced market. So when it's a seller's market, it is less than that. When it is a buyer's market, it's more than that. So instead of things selling in your typical, again, 90 day turn time, this is an average, right? Like a buyer's market would be that it's selling in six months and prices are decreasing. Now, that's not a thing. That's not the situation we're in. And so there's a lot of different reasons why we're in a seller's market. One is because values are going up because of low supply and high demand. Now, remember in COVID, everybody worked from home. Everybody wanted a space outside. It wasn't, I need to be downtown to be walkability to go to bars because there were no bars open. That's a thing, right? So in COVID, there was a lot of demand for housing. So you would have your own space. Now the demand continues to be high because people are like, oh, I actually like having my own space, right? And also with rates low and more programs available, that means that more money is going to be going into the market and that continues to fuel demand because if you can buy more within a lower like amount of budget, then that's going to continue on the demand side. So on the supply side, the flip of that is true. Well, hey, rates are low. And so a lot of sellers that normally may have to sell because they needed that equity to buy the next property, they were moving, they've been able to refinance and lower rates and hold on to properties. You know, if you lower your monthly payment and you're in a financial crisis, well, then maybe you can like stand around for longer, right? The other side of that too is when we think about a seller's market, we think about supply that's coming on the market. We have to think of why people move. So I just talked about from a payment standpoint, but also people are relocating with folks staying at home and being able to work remote and being able to have more flexibility in their job schedules. You don't see that that moving. So why is this the seller's market we've defined, but when is it going to change? I personally don't think that we're going to see a lot of balance in the market for at least another year, year and a half. So the reality of this is that if you want to buy a house, you really have to write, have the right team in place and you have to be able to move fast. We're doing TBD approvals, which means that people are fully underwritten beforehand. This means you can close in as little as two weeks. I got a call yesterday from some, a realtor saying, hey, I have this offer from an online lender. I don't want them to work with them. Will you look at it? And so, yes, they were able to take their offer based on us approving them. Using the right team is going to put you ahead of the game. So no matter what the market conditions are, you got to make sure you're ready to execute on that. Hopefully that gives you a little definition, hopefully a little bit of why this is happening. Again, not to be Debbie Downer the moment, but I don't see that we're going to have some big uptick in supply, right? We're not going to see this huge drop in demand. Prices will keep going up. Rates are going to remain low, even though they're ticking up to probably four next year. That's super cheap money. Let me help you get a fed plan. And if there's anything else you can do, be honored to help. Austin at Homeowners Financial. Make it a great day.